Hey guys, Eric here with Eric's Fragrance Reviews, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a first ins first impressions on Zoologist Cow. I got a decant from, uh, I got this from the Deep Web, so if you guys want one, you're going to have to look, look real hard for it. This isn't even out yet, so probably one of the first to get it, or I think it just came out, one of the two, but, uh. Let's give it a spray. We'll do heavy on there, I guess. A lot of these Zula just smell like really bad. Like I got like uh, I got their little discovery set, and I'm gonna review these in the future. But yeah, I don't really wear any of them. But uh, all right. Let's see what this one. I can smell it already. It's like really sweet. Dang, it smells, it smells pretty good. Oh shit, yep. I think. It smells powdery, fruity. Damn, it smells real good. Hey, I'm pretty impressed. I thought, uh, I thought Zula just cow was gonna smell like their other ones that just like stink, smell like barnyards. They smell like the zoo, a lot of them. But this one, this is actually wearable. I think that's yeah, pretty good. Oh shit. Damn, it smells good. And uh let me read the notes for you guys, but from the initial spray that smells really good. Like that's that's good. Like oh shit. Powdery, fruity. Yeah, it's different. Like that's really unique. I don't think I smelled anything like this. But yeah, it smells good. Alright. I guess top note says apple and sage. Huh. Guess you do pick up a little bit of the apple. And then middle notes has milk, heliotrope, lily of the valley, jasmine, and violet. And then base notes it has musk, amber, cedar, and vetiver and benzoin. This stuff is projecting though, so I don't think I would go too heavy if you do manage to get a decan or a bottle. Yeah, it smells good. I feel like if you overspray it though, it'll give you like a headache or... You just won't, it'll be too overbearing, but yeah, right now it smells really good. It kind of smells like a licorice or something. Like, yeah, it kind of smells like licorice, like black licorice, but not as nasty. No, yeah, guys, this is good. I recommend you get a decant, and it might be worth blind buying, to be honest. Yeah, it smells good. Kind of sm starting to smell like conditioner now, like. Not really licorice, and I was going to like towards like a you ever smell like head and shoulders, kind of like that. But yeah, guys, smells good. I think you, I, I'm picking up that milk note, like it's weird. It smells like a little bit like they when you spill milk and then it dries, kind of like that, but not like the spoiled milk, like fresh milk. <laughs> yeah, it smells good. Damn, I'm surprised. Alright guys, so I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to let the stuff dry down because a lot of these Zoologists, they have like five stages to it. Like it'll change and then it'll change again and then change way later. So I'll be back in like 20, 30 minutes and I'll let you guys know if I can still smell that licorice uh, conditioner vibe that I'm getting right now. Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm back now and uh, I'm still getting that like now it's starting to smell like shampoo, like, like that pert shampoo, like it just has like a clean shampoo vibe, a little bit of flowers in there, and then a lot of apple, like that apple note is, uh, it's really standing out. If you do get the milk, it's like barely in there, but it's not like a nasty, like spoiled milk smell, it's, just, it's good. Yeah, guys, out of, uh, I think I got five of these Zoologists, and out of those five, Cow's by far my favorite. It's actually wearable. All my other ones, I have not wore them, because I'll spray it on myself, and I'll wash that shit off. I don't like them. <laughs> but some people like it. But yeah, this does not smell animalic. It does not smell uh, like spoiled milk or anything. More like a apple shampoo vibe. Uh, right now... I'm thinking that it's leaning more towards feminine, but 
it's unisex, I think. But yeah, guys, uh, I think anyone can wear this and uh, might be blind buy worthy. Like, it smells good. Like, you're not, people aren't going to say you stink or you smell like a barnyard like the other ones. So, all right, guys, so there was my first impressions on Zoologis. I don't know how long it lasts because literally, I literally sprayed it right now. And, uh, yeah, guys, dry down. I think it's pretty linear compared to the other ones. But I'll do another review on it, and I'll wear it out, see if I get compliments. I'll uh, ask people if they like it. I'll see how long it lasts. I'll do all that in a future video. But for now, my first impressions, pretty damn good. Uh, pretty different. I don't think I've smelled anything like this. And yeah, out of all the Zoologists, the most wearable one I've smelled. So yeah, guys, uh, check out Cow by Zoologist. It's pretty good. Smells pretty, pretty damn good. And, uh, all right, guys, Eric here with Eric's fragrance, and uh, let me know which Zoologist is your favorite down in the comments, because I've only smelled like five or six, and I've hated all of them except Cow. It's probably the best. So, you guys, Eric here with Eric's fragrance reviews, and I'm out.